<laughs> Hello, you got Nate with Long Range X. Welcome back. <clears throat> one of the main number one questions I get asked is what my main hunting rifle is. And I always tell people 28 Nosler and I've had a lot of requests to see my 28 Nosler and hear the story on my 28 Nosler. So here we are. So most people know this, but um, Hunt the Distance in Butte, Montana, Jason Milani has built me quite a few rifles. Every time he builds me or my wife a rifle, it's like Christmas, man. It's it's exactly what we're after. And uh, two weeks before opening day, Jason gets a hold of me and he says, Hey, I put together a 28 Nosler that doesn't have a home. But man, the thing shoots really good. And it's right before it in season. You know, anybody that wants it. And I needed another 28 Nosler right then and there like I needed another house mortgage but um I said well let me come shoot it he had done load data for it and went up to his range with him he sat me down on his bench I shot it three times at 100 was really really impressed pretty much put three inside of each other with the 162 grainy LDMs and dialed her out to I believe 350 yards 400 yards ish smack right in the center dialed her out to 710 yards smack right in the center of the bullseye of the 710 gong and i uh i quickly gathered up the rifle after five rounds out of it and paid the man <laughs> and he sent me with the rifle and enough ammo to get me through hunting season that he custom loaded for it so, I think this was about 12, 13 days before hunting season off the top of my head. And I'm not directly positive of that, but five rounds through the, his rifle, I had enough confidence in his work and his rifles that didn't bother me a bit. I grabbed that rifle and took it opening weekend and I shot a 290 class six point with it. Probably right at about 500, 4, 450, 500. I couldn't have been happier. And then a day or two later, my uncle shot a cow elk with it right at 640, 640 yards. Dead right there. Gun worked amazing. I couldn't have been happier. So um, I'll show you my 28 Nosler. What this is, it's a 26 inch Bartlean barrel that's fluted with a shrewd break on the end. Trigger Tech Diamond series trigger. An Orbendorf bottom metal that he stuck on it. Blue printed Remington 700 action. And a bolt knob that's spiral fluted that just kind of Matched it all together, him and I picked out that night while we were at his factory. And it's topped with a Night Force SHV 5 to 5 to 20 by 56 that I just turned on the brightness. Trying to straighten out the little Night Force logo. <clears throat> the stock, we uh, Jason has his own hydro dipping factory. And I just wanted him to kind of hydro dip me a cheap stock to put it in. Um, so it's just a Remington 700 SPS stock. But look at the detail in that hydro dip that he does. It is just stunning beautiful. I, I scratched it right there. You can see that. I did that. That was all me on a milk antler. But uh, <clears throat> did the green for giggles. And I said, it doesn't matter. As soon as hunting season's over, we're going to change it. But uh, this this rifle earned the nickname Venom through hunting season. Any Anytime it lit off, it killed. So um, through deer season, we killed a couple coyotes with it. Killed some whitetails with it. 
it killed a couple elk. I mean, anytime this gun cracked, there was meat in the freezer. So uh, couldn't be happier with it. And um, it'll stay in that green stock because it earned the nickname Venom in that stock. So now that's just the way it is. That uh, 28 nozzler has always treated me really, really well. Uh, I've ran through four or five of them. But uh, couldn't be happier with this one Jason built me. And I was actually so happy with it. I uh, texted him a list of parts that I wanted. And uh, they said, this is kind of what I'm after. Can you make it happen? And he said, oh, yeah, I can do that. And he just built me that 300 PRC. I, I haven't had it home extremely long. Long enough to know it's not going nowhere. <laughs> it's uh, it's really, really impressed me. I mean, fit, finish, feel of that whole rifle. When I... I had it set in my head what I wanted out of a 300 PRC. And I uh, was really, really hoping that Jason could make it happen. And he said, oh, yeah, we got you. And I texted him everything I kind of wanted on it and how I wanted it to be. And it's just perfect. I mean, um, it's going to be a hard coin toss between which one goes with me this hunting season. That 300 PRC over there. The 28 nozzler over here. Um, this video isn't about that 300 PRC. If you'd like to know more about that 300 PRC, I'll do a video on it. We're going to do some range time with it as well. But uh, the uh, trying to count, I'm going to have to sit down and try to figure out trying to count exactly how many kills this 28 nozzler had to it. But like I say, any, anything anything I need to do, it'll do. Um, shot it out to 1,250 yards just beautifully. I haven't shot that particular rifle any further than that. Um, anytime it goes off, you hit right where you're right where you're holding, man. It's just a little laser beam. But uh, really, really, really wanted to try the PRC everything I hear about the PRC and I've, I've played with quite a few but I've never personally owned one and so there we go built for me by the best and uh, so I want to give a huge shout out to all my subscribers thank you for watching my videos and keeping this going let me know in the future if there's a video you want to see or any more information on these rifles that you want I'm going to try to get some videos as the summer goes on. I've been really busy, but I'm going to try to get some serious videos of shooting these bad boys in uh, um, on the range, getting some distance with them, showing you guys those videos of us shooting. <clears throat> Huge shout out to Jason Milani at Hunt the Distance here in Butte, Montana. Man, he builds amazing rifles. Uh, I've dealt with a lot of gun makers. Um, I'm not going to name him or badmouth anybody, but uh, he's simply the best. He is simply the best. And uh, I have a gunsmithing degree and a lathe of my own, and I still buy rifles from him. So if that doesn't sum it up for you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you want to see some videos on that rifle, tell me in the comments. I've got some other rifles here that he's put together if you want to see some more pretties um and another thing i'm going to touch bases on sooner than later i'm um, not in this video we're out of time tonight but uh i gotta go do bedtime stories with the kids but uh on that rifle there i stuck an athlon chronos on it and we're gonna do probably a couple videos on it as well because I, I kind of shied away from the Athlons when they come out. I pushed them away. They weren't really my thing. Uh, that scope's really proved itself to me so far. I, I've got probably 80-ish rounds, 85-ish, 90-ish rounds through that gun. And couldn't be happier with the whole package. So we'll probably do some videos on that optic as well if you'd like to. If, you'd like, if that's something you guys would like to see. Anyways... Thank you guys. Massive shout out. And uh, as always, God bless America.